Hi, everybody. My name is Jeff Plumley. I'm the chief scientist of the US Geological Survey. And on behalf of the Geological Survey of Canada, Geoscience Australia, the US Geological Survey, the World Community of Geological Surveys, and the American Geosciences Institute, it's my honor to welcome you and to thank you for participating in this first workshop in the three-part Critical Minerals Forum on Advances in Critical Minerals Research, a forum in memory of Victor Labson. This session, including the recorded talks you've just seen, the plenary talk, which you're about to see, and the follow-up panel discussion focuses on the role of the geological surveys in critical mineral resources research. The availability of critical minerals for their many different uses in so many essential emerging technologies is a global concern. And as a result, helping develop a better scientific understanding of the geologic sources, supply, demand, and other implications of critical minerals is a key role for which geological surveys around the world can contribute or play. The US Geological Survey, uh, or USGS, is an agency within the US Department of the Interior. And I wanted to note that as an indication of the importance of critical minerals to our government, uh, Tanya Trujillo, who is exercising the Delegated Authority of Assistant Secretary for Water and Science in the Department of Interior, and Dave Applegate, who is exercising the delegated authority of the USGS director, asked me to pass along their warm welcome to the attendees, their great thanks to our, our collaborating colleagues in Geological Survey of Canada, Geoscience Australia, and to the sponsors, the World Community of Geological Surveys and the American Geosciences Institute. And they also want to extend their congratulations and great thanks to the uh, forum organizers for their hard work in pulling this event together. And I second all of those many congratulations and thanks. Before I introduce the plenary speakers, I first want to honor my colleague and longtime friend, uh, Dr. Vic Labson, in whose memory this Critical Minerals Forum is dedicated. I really appreciated all the kind notes and the recorded presentations by the speakers about Vic. And I wanted to give you just a bit more background he made many great contributions, first as a research geophysicist, um, using cutting edge science to help uh, with geophysical techniques to help map the subsurface. Uh, as a science manager, he helped lead and direct uh, oversight of uh, many different truly interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary teams that applied uh, geology to understand mineral resources, um, mineral and energy resources, natural hazards, groundwater, uh, and many other environmental issues. In his final role as director of USGS International Programs, Vic played a key um, role in helping en enhance cooperation and collaboration amongst the three geoscience surveys that are putting this forum on uh, regarding critical minerals and indeed the early planning of this forum. And and uh, we are all very sad that he is not around to see his uh, visions come to fruition. And we are all, as, as multiple speakers have said, we are all going to miss him a lot. So now it's my privilege to introduce two of my longtime USGS colleagues who are going to present the live plenary talk, Warren Day and Anne McCafferty. The title of their talk is Critical Mineral Mapping Efforts from National to International Scales linking the earth mapping resource and the critical minerals mapping initiatives. And Warren is a research geologist with the USGS. He's currently the science coordinator for the earth mapping resources initiative, which you'll hear about in his talk. And McCafferty is a research geophysicist with the USGS. Uh, and she is the currently serves on the Trinational Critical Minerals Mapping Initiative Steering Committee and on the Critical Minerals Mapping Initiative uh, mineral Prospectivity Mapping Project. So, no further ado, um, I introduce Warren, who will go first, and then Anne, who will go second. Thanks. Take it away, Warren. 